All right, page eight of the Rubank uh, element, excuse me, intermediate method for um, for the saxophone has daily studies for the development of technique. It reads, the studies on this page are intended for daily home practice. These studies, if practiced diligently, will develop a clean and fluent technique. Most of the awkward intervals in the key of C are included, and every figure gets an opportunity to develop independence of action. Play each study with a steady tempo, slowly at first, because speed kills, but increase the tempo each day until every study on this page can be played at fast or allegro. Okay? And this is this is really important because we are we always build from what we well, what we know to, to what we don't know. So we always play from slower to faster. Always. That is the only smart way to do it. For instance, I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play all of it for you, but I'm gonna play a good bit of it for you. Um, number one. This is how we start. Number one. One, two, ready. <laughs> Building every day, move the metronome up a little bit. Two. Two a little faster. And you can see. A little bit every day. A little bit every day. That's what it's all about. And it's the same thing with the rest of them. Too often, we try to play too fast, too quickly. Too often, we try to play too fast, too quickly. And the idea is, slow it down. Learn it first. Make sure that our fingers can have the muscle memory to do the things that we need to do like we need to do them, so we're doing them correctly. That is extremely, extremely important, okay? And do that for all of these exercises, especially number six. Number six is the left-hand development. And for all us right-handed people out there, the left hand will get us in the most trouble. Here's how I'm going to start off playing the left-hand uh, development Number six on page eight. Now, could you use the um the alternate C in here, most certainly you could. If you want to, cool. If you don't want to, that's fine too. You know, doing this is kind of it's kind of wonky, but if you wanted to play the alternate C with a side key, you can do that too. So I would play it that way until it was crystal clean. Then click the metronome up two clicks or three at the most, and I'd get to. until it was crystal clean, and then another two clicks or three clicks, until I can play it at a an allegro or a uh, at least a fast andante or, 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 or an allegretto tempo, cleanly. That's what we want to do. And this is and this is a, and this is a very very important exercise because this highlights how important it is to start off slowly and move quickly, developing that muscle memory along the way. 
All right. Thanks ever so much for popping in. Uh, this is That was page eight. And the Rubank Intermediate Method for Saxophone. My name is William Lawson. Uh, until we see you again on the next video, keep playing.